Let's start off by talking about some gene organization. DNA is transcribed into RNA through the process of transcription, which is what we talked about in our last video. In the RNA molecule, there are three letter sequences that are called codons. Each codon is translated into their specific proteins. Um, Crick proposed that the genes and proteins are collinear, which means that the number of nucleotides equals the number of amino acids. This is true for viruses and bacteria, but um, not all genes are continuous, as we will find out. Many large RNA in the nucleus are absent from the cytoplasm. Researchers proposed an experiment in order to answer the question of if coding sequences in the genes are always continuous. They did this by putting together um, DNA strands that are complementary to the RNA strands together, and then they proceeded to mix, to heat, and to separate the DNA strands. Once the DNA strands were separated from each other, they cooled the mixtures and the complementary sequences paired up. Some DNA may pair up with its complementary strand, or some paired up with its RNA complementary strand to form loops. They concluded that coding sequences in a gene may be interrupted by non-coding sequences, and therefore most eukaryotic genes consist of stretches of coding and non-coding nucleotides. Therefore, the concept of collinearity was not true for all. Many eukaryote genes contain exons and introns. Both are transcribed into RNA, but introns are later removed by RNA processing. The number and size of introns vary from gene to gene. They are common in many eukaryotic genes, but uncommon in bacterial genes. Four types of introns are group 1, group 2, nuclear, pre-mRNA, and tRNA, located in these specific areas. Um, group 1 and group 2 are cell splicing, and nuclear pre-mRNA is spliceosomal, while tRNA is enzymatic. In mRNA, each amino acid in a protein is specified by a set of three nucleotides called codons. Both prokaryotic and eukaryotic um, mRNAs contain three primary regions, um, as well as the start codon and the stop codon. There is also the five prime untranslated region that does not encode any amino acids. Um, as well as the three prime untranslated region that plays a role in the stability. In the five prime untranslated region, there in bacteria, there's the Shine Dalgarno sequence, which serves as the ribosome binding site during translation. Transcription and translation are coupled in bacterial mRNA. Um, whereas transcription occurs in the nucleus of eukaryotes and translation um, occurs in the cytoplasm for eukaryotes. This gives way to many modifications that may happen in eukaryotic cells, such as the 5 cap prime cap addition, the poly A tail addition, splicing, and some editing. The 5 prime end of the mRNA still has three phosphate groups attached to it. However, during the addition of the five prime cap, one of the three phosphate groups at the five end of the mRNA is removed. It is replaced with a guanine nucleotide with its phosphate group. Then methyl groups are added to the seven position of the base of the terminal guanine nucleotide as well as um, the initial nucleotide may also be methylated. And the two prime position of the sugar in the second and third nucleotides are also methylated. 
Let's look at it more closely. The cap consists of a nucleotide with seven methyl guanosine attached to the pre-mRNA by a unique five prime to five prime end shown here. The addition of the five prime cap facilitates binding of ribosome to the five prime end of the mRNA. It increases mRNA stability and enhances RNA splicing. Poly-A tail confers stability on many mRNAs, increasing the time during which the mRNA remain, remains intact and available for translation before it's degraded by cellular enzymes. Um, the poly-A tail also facilitates attachment of the ribosome to the mRNA and plays a role in the export of the mRNA in the cytoplasm. After transcription, the pre-mRNA is cleaved at a position from 11 to 30 nucleotides downstream of the consensus sequence in the 3' untranslated region. The consensus sequence determines at which point uh, the cleavage will take place. The addition of adenine nucleotides polyad adenylation and takes place at the three prime end of the pre-mRNA, generating the poly-A tail. There are also such things as poly-U tails, which are added to mRNA, microRNA, as well as small nuclear RNAs. This is still under investigation, by the way. Splicing takes place within a large structure called a spliceosome. The RNA components are small nuclear RNAs. Um, these snRNAs associate with proteins to form small nuclear ribonucleoprotein particles. SNRPs. Each SNRP contains a single snRNA molecule and multiple proteins. There are five types. Critical consensus sequences are present at the 5' prime splice site and the 3' prime splice site. A weak consensus sequence exists at the branch point. First, the SNRP U1 attaches at the 5' prime splice site and then U2 attaches to the branch point. This addition of the giant SNRP complex causes a conformational change in the spliceosome, the intron loops over and the 5' splice site is brought close to the branch point. The particles U1 and U4 dissociate from the spliceosome and the formation of base pairs between U6 and U2 and between U6 and the 5' splice site are seen. They're all held together by all of these SNRPs to create the spliceosome complex. The two transesterification reactions take place, joining the two exons together and then releasing the intron as a lariat. This is what happens in the spliceosome during pre-mRNA processing. In this reaction, both 5' cleavage and lariat formation occur in a single step. The result is that the 5' phosphate group of the guanine nucleotide is now attached to the 2' hydroxide group of the adenine nucleotide at the branch point. A single pre-mRNA is processed in different ways to produce alternative types of mRNA, resulting in the production of many different types of proteins in the same DNA sequence. An example that we will look at regarding alternative processing pathways is 
Seen in the mammalian gene that encodes calcitonin, this gene contains six exons and five introns, all transcribed into the pre-mRNA. This RNA strand has multiple cleavage sites, one on the after the four exon <coughs> and one cleavage site after the six exon. Sometimes cleavage and polyadylation will take place at the four, fourth exon end and everything behind it will be cut off and a poly A tail will be added. Once all the introns are cut out, this will produce an mRNA that contains exons 1, 2, 3, and 4. This new mRNA is called calcitonin, which is produced mostly in thyroid cell. This is an example of the alternative um, processing pathway of multiple 3' prime cleavage sites. But now we will look at what would happen if the pre-mRNA were cleaved at after the sixth exon. If cleavage were to happen after the sixth exon, the poly-A tail would be added right after the sixth exon. Now it goes through RNA splicing in which all the introns are removed. During this type of splicing, exon 4 is eliminated with the 5 introns, therefore producing an mRNA that contains exons 1, 2, 3, 5, and 6, which yields the calcitonin gene-related peptide which are produced in brain cells. In the first example, which shows multiple three prime cleavage sites, three introns are produced. But in the alternative splicing example, three introns are produced, but the fourth one actually has the four, fourth exon attached to it. This is an example of alternative splicing. Alternative splicing enables exons to be spliced together in different combinations to yield mRNAs that encode different proteins, whereas alternative 3' cleavage sites allow pre-mRNA to be cleaved at different sites, resulting in the possibility of many proteins. Individual nucleotides in the interior of the pre-mRNA may be changed, added, or deleted by RNA editing. The amino acid sequence produced by the edited mRNA is not the same as that encoded by DNA. Therefore, guide RNA adds nucleotides to the pre-mRNA that were not encoded by DNA. The guide mRNA has sequences that are partially complementary to those in the pre-edited mRNA and it pairs with it. tRNA has additional bases besides that of uracil. One of them is ribothymidine, which has an, a methyl group. The other one is a pseudouridine, which has the nitrogen and the ribose groups switched. tRNA has four major arms, the DHU arm as well as the T pseudouc arm, the anticodon arm, and the acceptor arm. tRNA serves as a link between the genetic code and mRNA and amino acids that make up a protein. All tRNAs are similar in size and have a common secondary structure known as the clover leaf. Transfer RNAs contain modified bases and are extensively processed after transcription in both bacterial and eukaryotic cells. The large precursor tRNA is cleaved to produce an individual tRNA molecule. An intron is also removed by splicing and bases are added to the 3' end. 
Amino acids are usually attached at the 3' site, and the code is always CCA. And modifications of several bases produces the mature tRNA. The ribosome is a complex organelle consisting of several RNA, rRNA molecules and many proteins. Each functional ribosome consists of a large and a small subunit. Ribosomal RNAs in both bacterial and eukaryotic cells are modified after transcription. In eukaryotes, rRNA processing is carried out by a small nucleolar RNAs, snow RNA that is. During rRNA processing, there is the methylation of bases, the cleavage of a large precursor, and nucleotides are trimmed from the ends of rRNAs. Small interfering RNAs and microRNAs are tiny RNAs produced when larger double-stranded RNA molecules are cleaved by the enzyme dicer. So transcription through an inverted repeat in the DNA produces a primary um, microRNA, which is the pre-RNA. The pre-RNA is cleaved to produce a short RNA with a hairpin and the dicer removes the terminal loop of the hairpin. One strand of the miRNA combines with the proteins to form an RNA-induced silencing complex, complex risk, which pairs with an mRNA and inhibits translation. With a small interfering RNA, double-stranded RNA may arise from RNA viruses or long hairpins. Double-stranded RNA is cleaved by dicer to produce siRNAs. An siRNA combines with the proteins to form risk, which pairs and cleaves mRNA leading to degradation.